All right, guys, welcome to the second episode of Inspirations. Um, today we're going to go and tackle abstract photography. You're probably wondering why I would choose this. Well, my building is quite abstract, so I can do a lot of things in here. I don't know about you guys, but in Vienna right now we have another strong lockdown. So going outside, doing a bigger project is pretty much impossible. So yeah, that's what we're sticking to, abstract photography. So let's ask ourselves again what it actually is. Well, abstract photography is sometimes called non-objective, experimental or conceptual photography. Uh, I guess it's kind of, I mean the definition is kind of wobbly. What it really means is that you kind of take away the objects. So you don't really see what's actually going on. It could be more texture, very close up, um, maybe flowers, but you don't even see like the ends of it. So you can't see the outlines of it. So you don't really know that it is a flower. So I'm just gonna put some inspirations right here that I found. Um, hope that helps as well. I mean, a good question to ask is what makes a photo abstract? Now the answer to this is, most commonly abstraction takes place when a photographer focus in on a fragment of a natural scene, isolating it from its context. I don't have a natural scene in this building, obviously, but I think this would apply to most, you know, scenes. On that note, I also think abstract photography is a really great project to learn about colors, some about textures, to try different things. So I think it will be a great thing if you're trying to get into photography, if you're trying to learn, if you're just, you know, getting started and seeing what you can do. So to start this off, I have some tips that I want to share about abstract photography. So look for shapes, not subjects. Um, you know, this is, I guess, going into abstraction because you're not trying to explain what the subject actually is. You know, play with post-processing, you know, get some colors, some different styles, vibrant, saturation, you know, just play around with it and see what works, what doesn't. Isolate a slice. I mean, this is again with the definition like isolating and not having subjects, etc. So that's that's pretty standard, you know. And, and you know, and in general, you should just be willing to experiment with this. It's not easy, but you know, just go all out, experiment with whatever angles, depth of field, colors that you want. All right, well, I think that was enough. Let's go shoot this thing. Put the team on my back. I do it all for the family. Everyone that they can rap. Nobody ever gon' challenge me. Starting my week on a Sunday. And then they can make it a one day. I just been ready to take off. Where did my turn on the wrong way? Never be turning around, never be turning around. Ayy. Never be slowing it down. Never be slowing it down. Ayy. I keep my foot on the gas. I keep my foot on the gas. Ayy. I know I'm never Okay, so basically just like before. I went through the pictures after importing them and just made my first selection, see what I like, see what I didn't like. You know, sometimes it's hard to see what you like in the camera, so it's better to select it later in Lightroom or your software of choice. From here, I just played around with colors, I played around with the editing of it. I went very extreme with the editing just because, you know, when you're doing abstract photography, you have the option to go much wilder than in portrait photography, let's say. I really like this kind of overexposed and oversaturated look. As you can see with the red, I really went um, overexposed. Otherwise, I just cropped them in a little bit because, um, you know, we talked about abstract photography kind of taking away what it actually means. And with my 50 millimeters, sometimes I just couldn't get close enough for that. So I just cropped them in a little bit. Now, after the editing, I chose the pictures I liked, um, exported them and put them in InDesign for the collage. Um, first, I pretty much just imported them, you know, see, looked at what worked, what I liked, what I didn't like. Um, I kind of had the idea that there would be this picture in the background with those lines and the guiding lines. They were originally shadows. Um, but you know, when you overexpose them so much, they actually become full on black lines. And I really like that kind of grunge aesthetic of it. So that's why I decided to use it as the background picture. I actually exported 
um, different versions of this a few times because I was really unsure of what I wanted. I had those pictures of these square lines that I wanted to do something with, but you know, when it came down to it, I felt like it really just didn't work. It was too much. And um, so over time, I just decided to delete them and only use that one picture. Um, and from here, I just wanted to make that picture kind of line up with the lines of the background. So that's what I ended up with. So here we are. Now we're finished with this whole project. Um, this is the collage that I made. I think it kind of worked out. I'm happy with it in some aspects, but I'm not the best astro photographer. So I'm not gonna say that it's really that great. At the end of the collage, I just decided to use two pictures. You know, the more, more is less. So I um, kind of chose to do that. Now, I'm pretty happy with them. I think it is a pretty abstract collage. But, you know, you guys let me know in the comments if it's good, if it's bad, if you liked it, if I could improve it somehow, you know, just let me know. I thought this project was really cool. Um, it was great working with color, with light, with shapes rather than always, you know, subjects because I'm personally a portrait photographer and you know, you pretty much always do the same. You set up the right pose, you take the picture. It's very simple, very basic, but um, doing abstract things really makes you think a lot more about the environment you're in, about the scene, what it's supposed to mean, and, you know. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.